Hi there, I'm John from cncroi.com and today we're going to make floral picture frames. One of the first questions I generally ask a customer after we sorted out the design is how many units that they want, in this case how many picture frames do you want, and what kind of material is your choice, and what kind of budget do you have. The budget is a very important factor because it tells me right away if we're going to make something out of acrylic, MDF, uh, Corian, uh, stainless steel, whatever it is. And the budget gives me also an idea of what you're willing to pay for it. Because let's say you have 100 picture frames like this that you want made and your budget is, you know, reasonable. Well then we go with more expensive material. So instead of using MDF that's quarter inch, we can use quarter inch mahogany, we can use zebra wood, we can use something more exotic that's really really nice. If your budget isn't that high well then we use MDF as you can see here and this you can paint and make it look nice. Uh, if your budget is like middle range sort of thing we can go with acrylic. Again it depends on your specs and how many units and the volume and all that kind of stuff. I also generally keep uh, some inventory of some of these general materials in the shop too. So that's why a lot of our production it can actually happen within 24 hours. So let's say you needed this, you know, 100 of these things for tomorrow, we could actually do that here in the shop. What we'll do now, we'll take a look at the laser, cutting out all three of these materials. And in between I'll sort of cut through and I'll just explain a bit more detail about it. The first unit picture frame uh, cut out by our industrial laser was this here. This is 1 8 or 3 millimeter MDF. And it's actually really nice material. It's relatively cheap, cheap, it's very consistent, and it paints extremely well. You don't even have to put a primer on it, you just paint directly with spray paint. And it comes out really, really nice. Also, the advantage to having something so thin is that if you get a lot of volumes done and you worry about shipping costs, this is great because it's half the price, literally, of something like this that is six millimeter or a quarter inch. The other nice thing about MDF is that as long as you take care of it, it actually lasts, lasts a pretty long time. It's got some pretty good strength to it. If you look at this here, it's got a lot of holes in it and stuff like that, but you know, it's not going to break apart on you. It's not like using you know one millimeter thick or a third the thickness of this, or like paper and that cardboard and that kind of stuff. And we actually use this stuff a lot, even for stencils. So let's say you had this here, and all you do is spray paint over it. Well, then you're basically making a stencil of this shape here. What we'll do now. We'll take a look at the acrylic being laser cut.
like the MDF that we just saw being cut, uh, the acrylic here is the same thickness, so it's again one eighth or three millimeters, so very, very thin. Something you want to keep in mind is that when you have very fine details, MDF is actually a better material. And the reason is because this is plastic, once the laser has cut it out, sometimes what happens is the material bonds right back to it because again, it's molten acrylic. So the molten acrylic sort of comes off, but then it sort of sticks a little bit. So just something to keep in mind. The advantage with acrylic over MDF is that you can get it a whole bunch of different colors, uh, thicknesses, and also transparencies. So this one here is a semi-transparent, so you can sort of see through it. Well, with MDF, you just can't do this. Uh, you can also paint acrylic. Generally what we do is we keep a protective film over the front and the back of it when we cut it. Uh, so that when we ship it out, if there's any scratches, it's just on the protective uh, surface of it and not actually on the acrylic. Acrylic does scratch um, and it also does warp a little bit, especially on thinner material like this. So there is a very slight warping, but it's not that big of a deal. Um, if you're going to glue this onto something, it'll stay flat. It's not an issue. What we'll do now, we'll take a look at the uh, quarter inch or six millimeter MDF. Again, the same picture frame, all, the, all three of these picture frames are exactly the same file. They each have different cut times because of the different thickness of material and the material itself. So this one here is quarter inch or six millimeter, just to give you a comparison. So it's double what the other one is. The advantage with thicker material is that, especially with MDF, it's a lot stronger. So if you have very, very fine details that like to break off, six millimeter is definitely the way to go instead of three millimeters. You also have to consider the application. If this is something you're going to give to kids to play around with, you definitely don't want to give them this because they'll break it in pieces. Uh, you go with this or even thicker, you know, half inch, three quarter inch MDF, or you go into other materials that are a lot stronger like steel or anodized aluminum or that kind of stuff. Another thing to keep in mind is that generally we mask this if, you're, if you want it raw, but with MDF, almost all of our customers, what they do afterwards is paint it. So as you can see here, the soot, you can tell right away just based on the soot which one is the thicker material. The reason why there's more soot on this one than on this one is because this one's double the thickness, which, mean, which means that there's double the amount of material that's vaporized, therefore double the amount of smoke that comes up and all those kind of issues. And thickness also affects the price. Uh, it takes a lot longer to cut six millimeter than it does to cut three millimeter. It's more than double. And again, that's reflected in the price that you end up paying per unit. So that's why knowing what your price per unit is will help me decide what thickness to use and what we can offer you. Let's say you really, really want thick material, but you want it at the price point of a three millimeter material. One of the things we can do is scale it down so it's smaller. We can also get rid of some of these internal details here. Uh, so there's always some room to play around with. So if you're really set on a certain material, to a certain extent we could optimize things, optimize the design further to sort of roughly hit that price point that you're going for. <laughs> 